Uh, officials in Fukushima Prefecture say they have detected high levels of radiation in a newly completed residential building. They say materials used in construction may have been contaminated with radioactive cesium from the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. The three-story apartment building in Nihonmatsu City was completed last July. Twelve of the units currently are being rented. The city found that levels of radioactivity on the first floor were up to 1.24 microsieverts per hour, well above background radiation levels. Radiation levels on the second and third floors were much lower. I'm shocked. I don't feel safe living here. It's better to move out, but honestly, I feel so lost. The discovery came after the city's regular checkups found that children living there had been exposed to more radiation than other children over a three-month period. The officials say that the gravel used on the first floor came from a stone crushing site in Namie Town in the no-entry zone near the crippled plant. Authorities will confirm the cause of the contamination and check if gravel from the same site has been used elsewhere. Japan's industry ministry, industry ministry says it didn't foresee such high levels of radiation in shale. It admits it has set no radiation standards for gravel shipments from areas affected by the accident at Fukushima. The ministry says the high levels of contamination were unexpected because the stones were not extracted just from the surface of the mountain. The quarry reportedly shipped gravel to about 20 construction and concrete firms between late March and late April, around the time the town of Namie was designated as an evacuation zone. Professor Hideo Yamazaki of Kinki University, who specializes in radioactive materials, says the lack of crisis management is to blame for the latest development. Cases like this wouldn't happen if the government had inspected construction materials earlier. The government should set standards as soon as possible. The utility that operates Japan's damaged Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant has been hit with yet another big bill. Tokyo Electric Power Company's insurance policy runs out Sunday. That means TEPCO had to hand over a $1.5 billion deposit to the government. Utilities operating nuclear plants in Japan are legally required to be insured for 120 billion yen to compensate for any accidents. TEPCO is losing its coverage from the Japan Atomic Energy Insurance Pool. 23 non-life insurers established the organization. The group decided last August it would not renew the company's contract. The utility deposited the funds Friday with the Tokyo Legal Affairs Bureau. The Science and Technology Ministry says the payment is the first of its kind by a power company. TEPCO spokespeople say the utility is still seeking coverage from private sector insurers. A special panel investigating the Fukushima nuclear accident has questioned former Prime Minister Naoto Khan. It was Khan's first time to testify on the subject, even though government and diet panels have held similar hearings. The Independent Investigation Commission of the Fukushima nuclear accident held a closed-door session on Saturday and heard details of how the Khan administration handled the crisis. The former Prime Minister was quoted as saying that everyone in Japan was too obsessed with the myth of nuclear power safety. Khan encouraged the Commission's work. He said it's meaningful that different groups, including civic ones, are investigating the accident.
The hearings shed light on how politicians tried to tackle the nuclear crisis, even though they were skeptical about the functions of political organizations and their management systems. This will be helpful for us to consider the function of the Prime Minister's office. The Commission intends to interview other ministers and release its final report at the end of February.